Yo, I'm back again, and today we're doing a Rio Ave play ratings breath. Shout out Aston Griffiths. So, nickname, no nickname, owner status loves the club. Hopefully, we can find a gem here. They were in the Europe. I did not know that. They were actually in the Europa League, bruv. Damn. Now, obviously, I don't think they're still in there, but damn, they were actually in there still. Now, last season, they finished what? Fifth? Damn. All right. So, um, they probably won Continental. I mean, not con. Oh, it probably was Continental or Domestic Trophies. But yeah, they haven't won the league since 1999, but that's fine. Cool. Wait, they probably won the, yeah, the second league, but yeah, you, you get what I mean. Yeah, they won that. Cool. Anyway, view squad, bruv. We're going from um, Powell Zik. This geek, bruv. Woodway to Andre Pereira, bruv. So, yeah, let's see what these men are saying, man. Like Powell's this geek, bruv, whatever your name is. 36, 15 reflexes, 12 one one solve agility. You already know what I'm going to say. Now, obviously, very good reflexes, but obviously that time has come. Um, yeah, just, just hang up the boots and make way for the new people in it. Simple as, yeah, simple as just make way for the new people in it. Cool. All right, next. And finally, for goalkeepers, Leo Vieira, please save the day. Um, can he save the day? No, he cannot, bruv. Not really. He's 20. He's 20. Now, I was expecting, like, man saw his stats before I even saw his age, and I was expecting to see, like, 22 after I read those stats. I'm like, goodness me, 29, bruv. It's peak. Still can't lie. You need to sign another goalkeeper still. You do. Goalkeeper crisis alert, bruv. Like, someone save them, bruv. I swear. Yeah, you have to sign one still. You have to. Cool. All right. Next, um, uh, Adalan. Santos breath madness. Um, thirty-one years of age, ten technique, eight vision, and thirty in passing. So he's impersonating a central defender as they all do. You know, one as they all do, bruv. He's a no. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. You can't even be a no. Not he's got twelve tackling. He's got twelve. He's thirty-one with twelve tackling. Shocking. Now he he's got good marking, and that's it. So he's gonna stick next to you and have a conversation, but he can't win the ball. What's the point? Don't make sense, bruv. He's got very good... Oh, wait. I was about to say he has good agility. He's got very bad agility, bruv. Yeah, this guy, he's whack, bruv. Like, look at him. 10 composure as well. Shocking. Shocking, bruv. First touch, gone. Can't lie. Shocking. Santos, peak still. Can't lie. Cool. All right. Next, who's wanted? Tony Borovic, bruv. You get me? Let's see what he's saying. He's 23. Um, Centre back. Um... All right, so ball playing defender, 11 technique, 12 vision, and 13 passing. True, say the pivot got better and better. It did, didn't it? Um, so the, the technical ability is a bit rigid, but he's got very good execution, though. So so that's that's fine. Now, obviously, um, he's six foot four, so you can completely understand why he's got slow acceleration and he can't move side to side. That's what happens when you're two winning. Like, it happens still. But I was expecting to see him have a little bit of recovery speed, which he does not have, so he's not really a mover. But he's got positioning, though. Which is very good. So he's got upstairs. He's twenty three. That's good to see. He's got composure as well. He can. He's got strength as well in the air. He's very good at jumping, but he just can't really um, see. Now he can win headers, but he can't direct them. That's it. Yeah. So um, for, for this guy, I can't lie. He's he's actually pretty. He's pretty solid still. Like if you if you use him correctly as a ball playing defender, hopefully his tackling will improve because you can't do that manually. His pivot will definitely improve as well. With time, he will be a very good defender as well. So yeah, man, like Tony. Borokovic, he's, he's a good centre back still. Who? All right, next, um, Nelson Monte. Um, twenty five years of age, twelve technique, thirteen vision, and thirteen passing. The pivot once again is there. It is. Um, well, it's it's decent anyway. No, he can't win the ball. He's meant to be a right back. Um, what's he a fullback on support? Hell, how can you be on support? Yeah, I get that you can pass the ball, but you need to be able to cross the ball. You can't even cross. You've got eight crossing. That is shambolic, bruv. Man's got eight crossing. That that's awful. That is actually awful, isn't it? Work rate fourteen, determination fourteen, anticipation fourteen. That's good. So mentally, he's not the worst. Like he's good mentally. Let me be honest, isn't it? Physically, he's decent as well. But the thing that I need you for, so I can't put him centre back first because he's got eleven tackling. Did that go over my head or did I say that before? He's got eleven tackling, bruv. Shocking. So defensively, it's big fam. Choose your death, isn't it? Choose your death. How do you wanna fucking fam? Do you, do, you, do you want to get spun or do you want to not be able to do anything flipping going forward? This peak still. I can't lie, he's kind of whack. I can't lie, man, like Nelson Monte. He's 25 as well, yeah. There's no no hope, really. Can't lie. Cool. All right, next, Junio Rocha, bruv, who's injured. Um, Shit, who broke his leg? Who the fuck broke his leg, man? Five to six months. Ah, uh, man, it's peak still. Now, he's 23 as well. That's, that's, that's tough, man. Can't lie, man. Get well soon. Obviously, now I have to evaluate what are you missing from him. Now, what would you be missing from this guy? Um, he's got 14 pace, 13 acceleration, 13 energy, so the movement is calm. Um, 
12 technique, 11 vision and 12 passing. He can, he can pass the ball as well. He's meant to be a wing back defend. The winning of the ball is 13 under average by one. I was expecting that to be 14. I mean, like he could have had that 14, but now he's injured. So so now you're missing that he could he could have actually had like a very good um tackling stat, bruv. Like that's 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 poor still. They never really have composure, so I'm not really gonna criticize him for that. Because naturally he's a defend first kind of fullback. You know, old school. Them and there, they weren't really like bombing forward back in the day. They were, they were usually like staying back in there. And that's that's what he is to He's an old school defender, old school fullback, and yeah, he's he's he's, he's gonna be missed. Still, obviously, going forward, you're not gonna expect anything. He's defend first and don't don't confuse that in it, like keep him 40 years don't try and make him some wing back attack that that's got 10 crossing loud that bro yeah man that junior rocha he, he's, he's, he's good though man good 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 cool all right next um man like evo pinto on loan you man ah uh, he's on loan ah uh, he's on loan and i saw how long he's gone for his peak still i can't lie imagine how dare you fam how can fam damage crucial ligaments yeah if i'm the t- if i'm dynamo yeah i am going to be human with you for injuring my player because there's no way you'll be stupid enough to loan out someone that's gone for seven to nine months like what's the well why would you do that so he must have got injured on your loan imagine fam how can you flip and take one of my products yeah and give them back to me like fam you, you can't do that you can't do that bruv that, it doesn't work like that bruv nah you, man, that's peak still can't lie man they, they ruined him seven to nine months and he's 30 his career's done i can't lie <laughs> it's peak still that's that's career ending. It's peak now. Um, obviously, um, I can still analyze the card though. Fifteen pace, fourteen accelerations. He had movement there. It's not going to be there when he comes back. Agility gone. That's going to be great when he comes back as well. Brave as well. Work rate, determination, a bit of aggression in there. Going forward, um, he's claiming wing back attack. He's got a good pivot. First touch decent, and he can kind of dribble and cross. So I can understand it. Yeah, man. He he will be missed. He will be man. It's it's peak still, man. Injuries, man. Fucking injuries. I hate them. Cool. Next, Fab- man said Fabio. Fabio Contrero. Is this one from Real Madrid, bruv? I believe it might be. It is. Yeah, it is. It is. I remember this guy in Football Manager as well, man. He, he wasn't even that bad. I can't lie. He was not even that bad. I'll be honest with you, man. But let's see what he's saying now, bruv. Um, now they're slapping him on the right wing. For what reason? We're about to find out now. Um, it's probably for the fact that he's got good dribbling and crossing. Apart from that, um, I'll still play him left back. Though. I don't know why... Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Um, so I'm putting him left back. The reason why he's got good technical ability, vision and passing. Tackling is not the end of the world. Not the best marker, but I, I don't really care. I know that going forward, he can definitely overlap. Bruv. Well, not at speed. So it's going to be have to, it's gonna have to be a support team. But don't let him get to the byline because he can't recover. But get him to about, you know, around here where the marker is. You know you know where, like where my cursor is, yeah? Get him to around that area. Let him cross from there, innit? If he crosses from there, a little early cross, man, man will definitely do a good job there because he's got a good delivery, good first touch, good dribbling. Man, man, man can do it still. Yeah, um, good off the ball as well, good flair. He's, he's, a, he's a good player. He is, man. He is. Yeah, man, man like happy old contrail. Cool. All right, next. Um, damn, Savio. All right, 25, left back, wing back defend. Um, yeah, see now, he's meant to be defence first, but this time he's kind of better going forward still, as you can see the pivot. You can't really see what he's doing, but technical, technical ability and passing are decent. They're okay. First touch, okay. Dribbling and crossing, okay, which is 12 in it. He's better going forward than he is defensively, so you're going to have to put him on like attack or even support now attack, bro. Just put him on attack still. Yeah, that's the only way I can see it working. He's left footed only as well. Just let him run and attempt to cross the ball, but obviously defensively he's vulnerable and he can definitely get spun. spun. He will. He will get spun. Inevitably, but yeah, my, my like Savio, bruv. Cool. All right. Next, Pedro Amaral. Um, 22, 13, 10, 8, 13 vision and 13 passing fullback attack. So he's young as well. Um, 13 pace, 13 agility and 13 acceleration. The movement is not really, it's not blisteringly fast, not ridiculously slow, if I'm being honest. Now, he's meant to be on attack. He can't even dribble. The way you can um, see who's on attack and, on, and who should be on support, yeah, just by the dribbling and crossing. If the crossing is higher, he should be on support. Um, and, and in this case, the crossing is higher, so he should be on support. If the dribbling is high, he should be on attack, bruv. Yeah, simple as. But even this guy now, you could even put him on defend because he's tackling a higher than both of them. So that's probably what I'm going to do still. I'm not going to lie. I like to play to people's strengths. I don't want to put someone out of their comfort zone, you get me? Um, let, him, let him stay back and win the ball. He's better at doing that, innit? But then again, he's got nine marking, but I don't really care. As long as you can win the ball, I don't care, innit? Like, I don't even want you to mark anyone anyway. That's what I'm deep in. Now, I don't even want you to mark anyone because the way I play, I don't even ask people to mark anyone. I just tell them, you know what? Stay back, bruv. Don't, don't even press no one. Safe. 
yeah, um, man, man like Pedro Amaral, for what he does, he can he can definitely do a good job there still. Cool, and I'm surprised that he can't play centre back. He should be able to. He's got um, never mind. I, I saw. I, nah, nah, don't don't forget about it. Man. Forget about it. Cool. All right, next, Tarantini, bruv, my thing. Um, thirty six, um, deep playing playmaker or centre mid. Um, now I usually look at the pace, expect to see a good pivot. Unfortunately, I don't see a good pivot, bruv. Um, so. So he's not moving and he can't really pass the ball. For me, I can't lie. For me, if you can't pass the ball and you haven't got pace, you're useless. I can't lie because what are you doing? What are you doing there then? Like, what? You're a leader. So you're, you're a fucking cheerleader then. Loud that, bruv. Like, man don't need a cheerleader on the pitch when man's trying to play football, bruv. You get me? Like, man didn't hire no cheerleader, bruv. And thought just, just to be like, come on, guys. Like, I'll do that. I'm the one giving the touchline shouts. Not you, bruv. What are you doing, bruv? Nah, get, get the fuck with I can't lie. You're 36. Hang out the boots, bro. It's not, it's not your time no more. Say, my man like Tarantini, man, that's gonna be keep it, keep it real with you, man. And that's what, that's what you man are here for, for me keeping it real. So yeah, man, man like Felipe Augusto is next, bro. Let's see what he's saying. He's wanted as well. Twenty six years of age, fourteen technique for average and sixteen passing. Um, very good execution. The first touch is a bit wonky still. Um, composure's there though. Um, left footed. All right, so thirteen dribbling and twelve crossing. Cool. Anticipation is there as well. I'm thinking, what kind of player is he? They say deep player and playmaker. Can I agree with that? He's not the best in terms of movement. He's got very good composure and anticipation as well. The only thing that's stopping him from putting, from stopping me from putting him deep player and playmaker comfortably is his first touch. But you know what? I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah, I'll actually put him deep player and playmaker. He's got a very good pivot. He can even win the ball. Um, anticipation, first touch. I mean, not first touch. Composure. Very good decisions as well. Yeah, I'm putting him deep plan playing make a man like Felipe Agosto, bruv. Yeah, man, man. And just delete that trait, gets forward whenever possible. What is he going to do? He's got six finishing line, bruv. Like, yeah, man, man like Felipe Agosto, though, I'll put him deep plan playing make still. Cool. Good player. And who's he wanting to buy? Never mind. Cool. Next, Nicola Jambo, bruv. All right, 24. Um, Another deep plan playing make. Uh, you can obviously tell by the movement, he's not moving, so he has to stay in one position and play, play a deep, be a deep plan playing maker. You get me now? 13 technique, firm vision and 16 passing. He's got very good execution. But obviously the pivot overall is under average in terms of like the, the technique and the vision. But it's only under average by one, so I can definitely allow it still. Now, the difference is he can dribble now. So I'm looking at it like, do I really want this guy standing in one position? Do you say he's probably going to be forced to due to his movement? So I might have to recheck that statement. But the fact that he can dribble, that's very good still. He's not predictable, but the ball can kind of glue to his foot. So you, you can you can kind of see what I mean there still. But yeah, for me, as a deep player and playmaker, first touch, composure, anticipation, good execution, he can definitely do it still. So if that's what he wants to do, you might as well let him do it still. Yeah, my, my like Nicola Jambo might put him deep player and playmaker still. Cool. All right, next, Pele. Bruv, let's see, let's see what, 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 what Pele is dealing with. I'm trying to spoil it for me, bruv. Cool. My, my like Pele, yeah. Um, Box to box midfielder, fourteen tackling and thirteen passing, so it's more like, more more or less the same. You get me. Um, ten agility, so you can't move side to side, but you can move up and down straight line thing. Cool. Um, Twelve technique, eleven vision, thirteen passing, so you can't really see what he's doing. Can't can't see what he's doing. Got a good first touch though, decent one. Um, yeah, overall got good work rate as well. Um, strength fifteen, strength fifteen. Movement, okay, cool. He's, he's just bang average for me. Can't lie. Um, for a box to box midfielder, I mean, you can move up and down in terms of tackling and passing quite well. But apart from that, all round game is just it's there, but it's just not that it's not that great. Let's be real. Twelves and thirteens. I mean, he's 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 looking like one of those guys. Yeah, well, I'll just give you five sixes out of tens consistently in it. That's that's the kind of guy Pele is still. Yeah, and he's on loan as well. Definitely for squad depth and squad depth only. Cool. All right, my my that like Pele though. Cool. Next, Guga. My man like Guga. Stop spoiling it, bruv. You get me? All right. All right. Mazella. Um I look at the movement. He can he can do a Mazella thing. He can. Um shoots from distance. He's got eleven long shots to lead that trait. Um dictates tempo as well. Um composure twelve. Anticipation eleven. You might have to delete that. I can't lie, you might have to delete that as well still. Now he claims Mazella, he's got fourteen technique for vision and fourteen passing, so the pivot is definitely there. The only thing stopping me from putting in Mazella is his dribbling. Because I know you can pick up the ball and drive when when it when it comes to carrying the ball, you can do that. Anyone can do that. The difference is, is the ball stuck to your foot or not? Can you dribble? And he can't, unfortunately. So, I would prefer Amazella to dribble. But um, same similar with um, 
left back and right back, yeah? You see like how wing back attack, um, you have to be able to dribble in, in attack, but um, cross in for support. I'm probably gonna do the same thing with this guy and for the Mazzella on support, because he can't um, dribble, might I'll just tell him to flip him pass instead. Yeah, so I'll put him on support just for that reason alone, yeah. My man like Guga, bruv. Yeah, my man, I'll put him on Mozilla support still if, he, if that's what he wants to do. Cool. All right. Next, Rafael Camacho. 20. All right, 20 years of age, 14 pace, 13 agility and 15 acceleration of movement. It's, cut, it's calm. You get me? Obviously, mentally, there's holes now. Holes in the mental section. Dribbling, very good dribbling. The ball is stuck to this guy's foot. He's a right winger, straight line right winger as well. And he can cross the ball, yes. So all he's going to do then, because I can already tell what this guy is, yeah, he's going to beat his man. And cross the ball that's it literally that's his only job he can't do anything else don't even attempt to do anything else with this guy just ask him run in a straight line and cross the ball that's it yeah man like Rafael Camacho you'll be good at it in the future though yeah man just run in a straight line you'll probably get faster as well get better agility yeah just just do that in it yeah if you're feeling cheeky put him at that don't don't put don't put him remember the time put him winger still cool all right next um Francisco uh they took me off the bar in page, bruv. You get me? Um, next, Francisco Garaldez, bruv. 25 years of age. All right. Now we're talking, bruv. You get me? Now we're talking. Now, he's a cam. All right. So, he's definitely probably going to have to play in Ganji for me due to his no legs, bruv. He just has, he just doesn't have legs in it. He's five foot eight. You can understand. I'm joking. Anyway, listen. He may not be fast, but he's definitely moving, though. As you can see, he's got very good agility now. You can see there's holes as well, but he's got what I need, so I don't really mind now. As you can see, the pivot is 16 technique, 16 vision, and 15 pass, and he can pass the ball comfortably. He can control the ball comfortably as well, and he's got dribbling as well. So for a cam, he can definitely do a job, you get me now. There's many, many people that I haven't even explained this properly yet, but I have to explain it now, yeah. There's many, many people that believe that you have to be able to be a decent pace to be able to dribble, and, and that's not the truth at all. Look at someone like Bernardo Silva. He's not even blisteringly fast, but his dribbling is probably top three in the world, bruv. As of now, top three, top five, top ten, whatever. But he's definitely up there, though. And you might know this as well. But someone like Bernardo Silva, like a big name, that's why I said it in it. Like, man, no, and he's not even that fast, but man can dribble. Same same rules apply for everyone else that's slow, and and but but can dribble though. You get me? So my man like Francisco Garaldez, yeah, he definitely doing a job still. Now composure. He that's that's the that's the key thing now. He makes the right decisions, which is why I would actually play him cam. If he had like twelve decisions, I wouldn't put him cam. But he has got fourteen, so I'm putting him cam still. So for me, as a little ink and chating, he will do a job still. Definitely, he will definitely do a job. Man, like Francisco Garaldez, cool little gem right there, and he's either footed as well. Very good player, very very good player, bruv. I can't even like very good player still, and he's got a bit of flair in there. Why not, bruv? Say cool. All right, next, Riatoro. Meshino, madness. All right, 22 years of age. Um, inverted winger on support. The movement is not really there in terms of movement. I, I mean, speed, not speed. He can, I mean, in terms of speed, it's not there, but he's got movement still. Cool. Now, dribbling, 15. So, same rules apply. Man's not that fast, but man can definitely carry the dribble with the ball. You get me? First touch, 14 as well. So, there's a bit of silk in there. Look at the 16 technical ability as well. So he's got silk. The only problem with this guy is his end product, bruv. As you can see, the only thing he can really do is bang it from far. That's it. So, yeah, he you can't even put him on support. As good as his technical ability is, he can't even pass a ball. I get that he's only 22, but still, man's on loan from Man City. Listen, um, he's an inverted winger on attack here. Yeah, reason why his best thing at turn, in terms of leaving the boot, which is the passing, the long shots, the heading, the, the finishing, the crossing, the highest one is, is long shot, so you're going to have to focus on that still. Just tell him, you know, and he's got curls, but he's, he'll score some bangers still. Yeah, just just tell him do that in it, just bang it from far. Yeah, he makes the wrong decisions anyway, so he's bound to score a couple bangers, you get me? Cool. All right, next, um, damn, next, man like um, Anderson Cruz, bruv. All right, 24 years of age, left winger, um, 15 pace, 15 agility and 16 acceleration. Is he a straight line thing? Yes, he is, bruv. Now, once again, Man cannot pass the ball. Mentally, not there. He's just escaped the youth academy as well. I might have to ask him to get back in there, tell him to control the ball properly, innit? Man just cannot control the ball, bruv. Shocking. Shocking, bruv. Anyway, you can dribble, and that is about it, bruv. Listen, the best thing he can do is... Oh, wait, you can kind of control, but listen. Passing, 11. Long shots, 10. Finishing, 7. Crossing, 10. I can't lie, he's whack, bruv. I can't lie. Um, like I always say... 
to to see how really to see how good someone really is, like a winger or something. All we have to do take away their pace, and that's what it's going to be like against a deep line because their pace will be ineffective, and that's what you're going to see. You're going to see this man just blur out blur out that pace for a second, and this is what you're going to see when he hasn't got pace. Shocking ability. Say, all right. Next, um, man like Carlos Mane. All right, twenty six. Um, inverted winger on support. 14 pace, 15 agility, and 16 acceleration. The movement is there. Um, he can dribble as well. 14 technique, 15 vision, and 13 passing, so he can pass as well. Left footed or right footed. Um, he's got flair as well, so I'm thinking he's got a bit of end product this time in the fact that he can pass the ball and he can kind of cross it, bruv. Yeah, so if he's cutting inside, I can I can allow that to happen still. Yeah, so this is actually a decent winger now. We've, we've got a good one, man. man. Any places, shots, you might have to delete that trait. He's got 11 finishing. I don't want to see someone with less than 13 finishing attempt to play shots. That's not what I want to see at all. That's awful. Awful. But yeah, apart from this, he's going to carry the ball very well. Um, he's going to get into some very good positions for doing that as well, breaking lines and that. And then he's got a bit of passing, so he can definitely get a good couple of assists in there as well. Man like Carlos Mane, he's a good winger, isn't it? Man will cut inside, do a good job still. Man like Carlos Mane, good player right there. All right, next, um, Gabriel Zeno, bruv. What a name, bruv. And he's, left, and he's listed as well. Let's see why. All right. Um, straight line right winger or cutting inside left winger. Um, he's got the pace. He's got the dribbling. Um, so, you know, he can't pass. He can kind of cross, though. Um, the first touch is 13, so let me tell you what I'm going to do now. Due to his name, due to the fact that I like his name, and this this is how deep it's getting, yeah? Man's going to play him in it, and I'm going to put him on that right wing to run in a straight line. Fuck it. Literally, run in a straight line, cross the ball. You see the other deck, the other guy that I said is going to do that? I'm going to have to drop him and put this guy there instead. Man like Gabriel Zeno, your name is Wavy, and I'm going to play you just for that alone. I don't give a fuck, bro. No one can stop me, innit? Listen, man, man, man knocked ball past the opponent as well. He doesn't even need to do that because he's got good dribbling anyway. You usually see those things from people that can't even dribble because they can't have the ball stuck to their foot, bro. But this guy can have the, the ball stuck to his foot. Dribbling 15, that's good enough, innit? Yeah, first touch come. Yeah, just run in a straight line across the ball. The crossing is 12. Just escape the youth academy as well. Yeah, man, man can do a little job there still. Man, man like Gabriel Zeno. Ooh. All right, next, um, man like Jelson Dalla. Um, left wing cam or striker. What's the decisions? 12, forget about it. I'm joking. Anyway, um, in terms of movement, 14 pace, 15 agility and 15 acceleration. The movement is calm. You get me? Man's got decent. No, it's very good movement, if I'm being honest. The ball is definitely stuck to his foot and he can control the ball as well. He's playing striker for me and I'll tell you why. Composure and fair, oh, fucking hell, the composure is 13, the finishing is 14, so he can definitely find the goal. He can control the ball and he's got very good dribbling as well. The fact that you're playing false nine, I don't think I'll be doing that still. Funnily enough, yeah, it would either be an advanced forward thing or a poacher thing. And I'll tell you why in a minute, yeah? Listen, look at him. If he gets, look at his off the ball. Hey, this guy's actually wavy. Man like Jelson Dalla is actually a bullet. It just, it just processed. It took a little while, but it's processed now, yeah? Listen, this guy getting in behind you, yeah, he's got the off the ball, so you can't even mark him like that, yeah? Then... If he does get the ball now, he can dribble through pr probably almost any centre-back pairing and finish it off as well. So, man is making his own chances and finishing them off. So many people can't do that and that's why I see them. Man, man will sign someone like this, I, I, I can't lie, because there's not a lot of strikers that can create their own chances and finish them. Like, with, with the dribbling, yeah, there's not many strikers that can do this still. And the dribbling is even better than the finishing. Gem. I can't lie. Man like Joe Sandella, little gem right there. Shout out Aston Griffiths, bro. Little gem right there. You get me? And he's got the off-the-ball flair, yeah. He's, he's wavy still. He's wavy. Definitely wavy. Moves into channels. You already know the movement is A1. Safe. Cool. All right. Next, um, Ronan. Man, man like Ronan. Let's see what he's saying. Out and out striker now. 25. Poacher. Um, oh, wait. They said target man on support. That plays with his back to Cole. Let's just crush this theory immediately, as I always have to do. Look at the guy's pivot. Why are you turning around, bruv? What is the purpose of you turning around? I'm going to ask that question. Why do you think a striker turns around? To link play, right? Yeah. Now, if you can't pass the ball, who are you linking play to? No one. Turn around and attack the ball. Fuck it. I don't care. You're not on support for no one. Not for me anyway. Maybe maybe for one of you guys. Not for me, though. Can't lie to you now. He's got very good strength. He's got C6 foot 5 as well. So he's leaping. 16 jump reach. Yeah, he's very good in the air. Very good in the air. So he can play his game in the air. But on the ground now, when it comes to that finishing, not 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 linking, when it comes to finishing, he can finish very well as well. He can finish even better. So, in terms of attacking the ball, he will score goals. He will definitely score goals too. So yeah, as a target man, man will do a job. Man like Ronan, physical physical um, problem for defenders. 
yeah, he 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 would definitely do a job, man. Like Rona, cool. All right. Um, next, Junior Brandao on loan. Let's see. Twenty-five. Um, target man again, six foot two this time. Um, fifteen jump reach, fourteen head, and he can still get goals with that. And he's strong as well. Fifteen strength. Now, thirteen, thirteen finishing, eleven composure. He's got a bit of holes in there. Um, now, I'm thinking. Dribbling is decent. It's 12. Um, he's on loan. This guy is definitely back up still. Like, let's say the other striker gets injured, I'll have to put this guy there. Yeah, um, he's got a better pivot, though. So, he'll be able to link it a bit better. But I'm still going to put him on attack anyway. I'll still put him on target man attack. But apart from that, man, like Junior Brandao, he, he, he can do a little off-the-bench thing. That's what I'll do. Yeah, man, like Junior Brandao. Cool. All right. Um, next, Andre Pereira. Next, and finally, Andre Pereira. Um, 25 um, alright so he is a what kind of striker is this 13 work create determination 14 aggression 14 they say pressing forward might have to agree with it because he's got the, the mentals still he's got good mentals there the only thing that you would probably need for a striker that he doesn't have is his off the ball yeah and I can't even say it's fine because you actually need off the ball you need movement otherwise you're, you're useless pretty much but yeah um, yeah now Bare twelves. Like I'm seeing a lot of twelves, which means he's he is another fringe player, another fringe striker. He is because, yeah, um, six foot two, twelve strength, so he can definitely get shifted. Movement isn't even the best. We can't even. He doesn't even have off the ball, but he's he's got decent finishing. Well, it's twelve. First touch twelve. Yeah, he just got bare twelve. It's not like it's going to improve. He's twenty five. Well, it's not going to improve drastically. It can improve, but just not drastically in it. But yeah, man, like Andre Pereira. He's uh, he's just another backup striker for me. Can't lie. Yeah. Man at Andre Pereira. So, that is Rio Aive, bruv. Yeah, shout out to him because there's a couple gems in there. Still, yeah, a couple gems in there. Yeah, so, um, we're going to we're gonna line these men up now. You get me? All right, so, this is how I'm lining up Rio Aive, yeah? Um, I had to choose one goalkeeper. I, had to cho I chose the older one still. I chose Kiziek, bruv. I chose him still. Yeah, left back Conchiero. Um, yeah, um, he's, he'll do a good job, though. He'll do a very good job. As a little overlapping thing, he'll definitely good, do a good job still. Then central defender. Oh wait, no, I've, I've probably fallen into the trap of central defender. Oh wait, he has to be a central defender because he can't do anything else because he can't even win the ball comfortably anyway. Next, Borikovic, brav, um, ball playing defender. He's good at that, very good at that still. Um, then left. Oh wait, this guy's injured, brav. Yeah, he's it's injured. So you have to just put anyone else there. I'll just slap Monte there because he's the only one that's not injured in it. You get me? Yeah. He has to, and he's not even on a flipping. He can't defend or attack. Ah, oh, it's so peak. You want to just put him on flipping automatic, bro? You know the ones that like, fuck it, bro. Cool. All right, next, Felipe Augusto, um, deep line playmaker. Um, that's a very solid one right there. Then advanced playmaker or even Mazella. Um, Guga. Yeah, you do a very good job job there as well. Then cutting inside, you got Mane cutting inside. Cam Garaldes. You get me? Um, you do a very good job at Cam. Very good decisions on the pivot. Good as well. Then Gabriel Zeno, the guy that I said I'm playing because I don't give a fuck, I'll play him, bro. You get me? And then up front, Gelson Della, who can play false nine, um, up front, Pochard, advance forward. You could even put in false nine. Yeah. I don't know. It could be anything. He's that good, bro. Yeah. So, yeah, that is Rio. I have shout out Aston Griffiths one more time. Good gems in there. You, you man. Um, If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe to the content you're not expecting, and I'll see you in my next episode, bro. See you.